to the channel. I forgot I was. <laughs> I forgot I was filming. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I'm just uh, having a day off today, which is because um, I didn't go where I normally go today because I had personal problems that I had with my body, so I couldn't go. So I was for the doctor on Monday. Well, I was really old, I suppose. Well, some of it was self-inflicted. But I don't want to go into that because it's really bad. Um, so, um, it was raining as well, which is another factor. Factor is raining, 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 raining. So, didn't go, didn't go to Edinburgh. But here I am. Gonna have for some friend, have some coffee. Help shift some garden around, and I will get back and sort out all the stuff that I've got. With tons of stuff. Ugh. I was supposed to try my, I'm trying to turn my house into an art, art museum, and I keep filling it up with rubbish, junk. It's like it always looks like terrible. It's just like I think I'm never on top of this. You know, I never seem to keep up with it. I always start. Fads or things that I'm doing, get become obsessed with it and then don't finish what I started. Sounds like an ADHD diagnosis. Well, I have been diagnosed with that, but not that I'm totally on board with all this labelling thing that seems to be going on, which means I sound slightly hypocritical because I have been diagnosed with some of these mental health disorders. But Really, you know, I believe that people should be themselves and just be free to be who they are. So I'm talking equality, quality of opportunity. Um, and a lot of this sort of stuff started. Most of it is, in my, I believe, most of your sort of diagnostical stuff is a result of abuse, really. Um, Try to cope with abuse. Well, it's some little roundabout. This is look at this one, eh? It's a little cracker, isn't it? Oh, was, well, I did in gate. I I looked at a house down there. It was really good. I, I really fancied it. And I couldn't I couldn't get it at that particular time because I didn't have somebody to buy my house. I used to visit that house when I was young. Uh, bring back some memories. A lovely person. Absolutely lovely person. I lived in there. Fantastic. Yeah, but you know, life goes on, and sadly, no longer with us, blah blah blah. Right, so, uh, I've sort of got out of touch with my relatives and stuff. Because I got off from Stop starting to sound more, I'm, I'm not going to start moaning. It's fine, I like it. I like being the black sheep. Not everybody can be a black sheep. So, but this is this bloody bit. Look at this pave, pavement they put in here. It's one of the worst roads in fucking Scotland, this road. You have to like, try not to drive too fast, it's just too, too dodgy, this road. You are flying up and meet somebody, so I'll just back right off. To take it nice and slowly. It's a bit slippy as well. Quite like a steep bit here with a sharp turn, slippy road, some more not going too fast. It's not really wide enough. It's, it's not. I mean, when they go build, they build all these houses, they're building more and more up at Corby Wood. They don't do much for the roads. It's just like. The idea a roundabout is like somebody with a blob of paint in the middle of the road, that's it. Ah, oh dear. And this is just like, well obviously you can tell this is like, was supposed to be underwater. It feels like, doesn't it? Um, one of the best drawings I did was, I did this, I've still got it, it's, it was a collage. And it was a bungalow. And I had it up in stilts. I had an Audi sat in front of it. It was like sort of. I was making 
kind of social comment. I, I like to go, I like to revisit that sort of thing. I like that sort of thing. That wee bit sort of bizarre kind of artwork. And people say, oh, that's way, that's way out of reality. Well, it's not really, you know, it's, it's, it's just because everything seems so normal, but it isn't normal. Nothing's normal. This is just temporary. I mean, the way I'm going would have come along, along there, that road, but see this way, it's probably worse actually. I think it's probably a very slightly further. And this is a bit of an awkward bit to get out of here. Um, I've got plenty of money to spend on bike lanes, of course. 92 million for a bike lane and it's no bloody good. 92 million, it's like, wow. Indicating, indicating, I'm indicating. And there's a car coming. Oh, I'll accelerate. And we're now doing the speed limit for this village. It's frosk. It's f frosk is how you say it. So the locals say it. Why are you mean you're frosk? Uh, it's quite a bit quite a wee place. It's probably, I, I've got a feeling well, I was told that like, they're all sort of related to each other. I'd have probably been like murdered if I moved here. Sometimes you bring a lot of that on yourself, don't you? That sort of like this feeling of being an outsider. You get you almost perpetuate it yourself, you know. So you better not to do it. I've got a friend who goes on. He, he's English. He goes on about saying like there's a lot of anti-English. Racism in Scotland, and it's just stupid people. I saw it as I mean, Britain, the British. I, well, funny enough, a lot of them are, they hate English, probably are English themselves, which is because they think they're Scottish and they're not. They're not Scottish as me, anyway, uh, even though I've got a Danish face. We had to import our faces over from Denmark because Scottish ones don't look right. And it's basically how, why I've got a D Danish face. I got an expert told me that, an expert in genealogy. You've got a Danish face! Oh, it was funny yesterday at the market, all these people from Africa looking terrified when my friend was there and he said that they looked totally terrified. And as I just realised I must be like the white devil, because like, I've got blonde hair and everything. And they must be thinking, what? Wow. See, if I was there, they would put me in a pot or something. Like, boil me up and eat me. That's what they would do. I'm not saying they're not civilised, but, but. I wouldn't want to find it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.